Yo, That's a good you one, know. Mo. Yeah, see, you know, we, you know, I strive, <laughs> you know, I strive for accuracy when, uh, you know, uh, uh, making, you know, like trying to impersonate the 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 Craig bots now recording. Anyway. Yeah, you know, you do a good Craig impression, and here's my uh, here's my Mo impression. Okay, there's a lot of dead air here. Is there like you are you trying to fucking say <laughs> something to me, bitch? You were supposed to talk. And that was my mo. I thought you were supposed to talk. Like I thought that you were going to go open door. I mo. I like to get stoned and fuck up podcasts. Or fucking something like that. That would have been funny too, but the joke was you were saying that the Craig was your Craig impression, so my mo impression was just you talking. Well you 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 fucking did poorly, sir. You did poorly. Bad on you. Robin, I hope anyway, you got so. something better to bring to the table after the <laughs> intro. Riley, so I understand you have something for this uh this our cold opening. What what do you what do you got? Uh, now Mo, how do you feel about clickbait? I wanna know your take on clickbait. Uh I, I think it's fine, it's whatever. I just hate it when I click on fucking uh uh, articles and shit online. If it's YouTube shit, like I get aggravated. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't like clickbait at all. Okay, so you don't like clickbait at all? No. That's what you're saying to me? Yeah. Depends. <laughs> if, if, if the claim in the title is like, if you've got like a video and it's like, you know, making some outlandish claim. Like I remember there was a, someone, someone made a video of like, you know, how I learned a language in a week or some shit. And then the whole video is them, like, backpedaling the claim where it's like, oh, but I learned it in school, but I've just forgotten some of it. And, like, they're backpedaling and backpedaling and backpedaling. And it's like, okay, well, the title's just not even slightly true. But then there's also thumbnails that could be clickbait. That's oh. fine. Fucking go for it. Like, <laughs> see, in, in our, when I upload this shit to BitChute, I put like you know a hot chick or something in there because that's like literally no... what I was about to call you out on. That was the joke of this bit was I was about to call. Oh you yeah, out like because I... yeah, because like now I now I don't. Oh okay okay okay. So so what what, what were you about to say? What are you about to say? I was gonna I was gonna ask your opinion on clickbait, and then once you finished saying how it was bad, I was gonna ask if you could explain to me. Why they're fucking tits and asses in the mocast thumbnails? Well, because I just decided to say, "Oh fuck it, I don't care anymore." And you know, like I wasn't <laughs> sure, like I was looking at like you know, twenty, thirty hits, and all of a sudden I put a nice pair of titties in there. All of a sudden I get like hundred and seventy-five. I'm like, oh, "All right, fuck it." Well, yes, I mean, that it's, is the it's, technique it's of shoot. clickbait. That is it, the it's... technique of misleading thumbnails. Yes. Well, I don't know how it's misleading. Like, you know, it's an hour and a half. I mean, do you think it's just that ch chick for like an hour and a half, like bouncing up and down or something? Like, no. Me, it's... you, and Cripple Jesus talking to each other for an hour has nothing to do with a naked woman with fucking tape over her tits. Oh, but it's great to look at anyway, isn't it? <laughs> I, I suppose you're right. Oh, all right, good, because it got you to click on it. Because that, that's 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 what I want. So yeah, you know, you you busted me on my hypocrisy. I I don't care. You're fucking fired. I'm getting fucking someone else. I'm gonna get veto. I'm gonna get veto. I'm gonna get veto to come on here now. Like and then he's I mean, gonna veto be the would probably be a lot funnier than me. No, no, no. We're we're not gonna replace you. You're you're good. You're the super de duperist. Uh, what what was your title again? I'm the super duper co-host, I believe. All right, you're the super duper co-host, and Robin's the number one co-host. All right, good, good, good. All right, most like got... Taiwan. I'm number one. Uh, Taiwan number one. All right, you got any other shit you want to talk to me, or you want to point out some more of my rampant hypocrisy on the internet, Mister Man? <laughs> okay, well then let's start no, the that's, show. That's, that's my mo. That's my uh mo plaint for the day. Your mo plaints. All right, all right, all right. Well, duly, <laughs> duly noted, sir. Duly noted. So, how about those sports, huh? They sure are yes. talking about. They're... How about the sports balls? Huh? Yeah, they, they sure are talking about maybe possibly bringing in some sports and stuff. That'd be nice. I wish they would just reopen everything all the time, all of it. The entire, a hundred percent capacity, all of it. <laughs> God damn it! We're fucking talking about fucking COVID again. Shit! Uh, I fucking told <laughs> I told myself all like I was running some errands today, right? And uh, I told myself, you know, I'm not going to fucking talk about goddamn COVID. 
on the fucking podcast today. I'm just it's going to be a COVID list podcast, and nope. and like a, immediately I, I've started talking about this shit. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and just forget about you know like uh, COVID because like you know we're we're going to talk about other stuff. All right, but uh, let me go ahead. I mean, this is COVID? the school episode, no, so COVID's no, definitely no. coming up later. Oh, oh, fuck. It sure is, because you're fucking young as fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, Riley, you, you, you bastard. All right, well. Where, where, where'd monkey come from? Huh? No, we're talking oh, about... You, you put on your monkey voice. Oh, monkey no, no. Monkey Jones here. Oh, I, I, I had some shit in the back of my throat. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. A one, a two. Boku no Pico is the best anime. Are you done? Are you done, Riley? Yes. Yes. Uh, That's why I stopped, because I was done. Okay. A one, a two, a skiddly dilly do. He hey. did it! He did the thing! Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. <laughs> and joining me today is the number one co-host, Robin. Say hello, Robin. Hello, Robin. All right, good. And uh, joining me also today is the super de duper interrupting this fucking little douche nozzle, fucking Riley, you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Say hi, Riley. All right, that's great. Anyway, hi, so I want to talk about, I want to go ahead and just jump in with both feet in our subject today we're talking about COVID-19 today oh yeah like all day every day just COVID 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 just like you know welcome just... to the Koof cast yes this is the Koof cast <laughs> 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 yeah but no seriously I am fucking so goddamn sick of this bullshit and I just want like I am about to just fucking scream at the top of my lungs like I'm about to lose my goddamn mind over this shit I like. I don't even want to go to a bar anymore. I just want this bullshit to be fucking done. I, you know, it would be nice to have the option to go do shit, so I can politely say, "No, nah, I don't feel like doing it. I just want to sit there and play League, or something like that." Hmm. Oh yeah, I've been getting into League of Legends lately. I didn't think I'd get into MOBAs anymore, but after Dota two and the the shit fest and shit heap that that game is. But yeah, you know, I got back into it, and that's 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 what's happening me to, happening to me these days. But anyway, nice. not really here to talk about League of Legends or other video games. Although, you know, they probably will come up because the subject today is uh, school, and you know our experiences in school, what we've done in school, 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 school. school. I like school, and then I get to talk about the many times I've skipped or cut class. It's fucking great. So, I know that, Riley, yours is probably the most detailed out of all of us right now because you had to deal with all this bullshit, and I'm, I'm fucking sorry that you have to actually go through this. It really does suck that you get to miss out, or you, you have to miss out on your freaking graduation, even though graduation is a little bit for the birds, I think. You know, I think everyone gets well, to— Well, maybe not, considering perhaps I'll have to redo it next year. Rut row. Uh, what happened? Rut row. Um, I can't fucking do online school bullshit, and I probably failed. That's what fucking happened. Oh shit. Just we'll see. Out. Yeah. We'll see. Now I I'm just depressed, do, and I don't know. Uh, you need to uh, take your GED, get you a good enough diploma. Nah, fuck that shit. Shit. I'd honestly love to do my senior year again, just rather than fucking taking that shitty test. If those are my options. Oh, you know, I, I get like a well, like what's the what? What do you got planned for after school, though? Like, would it even matter? Because at this point, anyone's taking anyone for anything. All you have to do is just have your diploma, or your GED. No one cares anymore. Well, if I have to get one of those two things, I'd rather get a diploma. I don't want to take the GED test. What's wrong with the GED test? 
I've heard some things about it, and it sounds dumb, and I don't want to take it. You need, like, a third grade education level to pass your GED. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, you're, you're in 12th grade, right? You know, you, know, you do I'm the told, math. I'm told the math is hard. I can't do math. Well, like, but define hard. Yeah, define hard. Difficult. Define difficult. Uh, hard to overtake. What, what math is hard math? <laughs> All of it. It's math. It, it, math is it's not math. gonna be fucking trigonometry. Like you're gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be like algebra at the highest. Yeah, and I can't do fucking algebra. Algebra one. Uh, I just barely passed algebra one. Skin, you're fine. A pass is a pass is a pass. You're fine. Well, like, apparently the worst not. The do is solve for x. Because what I passed with in algebra one apparently isn't passing anymore, and that's why I'm in the position I'm in. What'd you get? Wouldn't it be funny if we decided D's aren't passing grades anymore just out of the blue? That'd be a hilarious bit. That'd be a funny joke. That would actually really suck, especially for a lot of the kids that are just like, I just want out of this fucking prison. Including me, Riley Brooks. Dun dun dun. Is that what's happening in your school right now? They're just uh, they're just uh, deciding that D's are no longer passing grades. Uh, apparently, according to my science teacher, even though I made sure all of my semester grades averaged out to D's, according to my science teacher, I'm not fucking graduating. So. Yeah, you might want to ask for like a second opinion on that, man. Like I'm maybe... waiting for a second opinion. I don't know how the process it's works. A fucking like, science they... teacher. Don't listen to whatever your fucking science teacher says. Go to someone with well, any more authority than a fucking teacher, so she... less than minimum wage ass bitch who teaches fucking science. Okay, <laughs> like chill. Yeah. Well, tell my mother that, Robin. Because I don't your mother know. Make a phone I don't know what they do. Do they call you? Do they email you? How do you know whether I should show up in my fucking cap and gown? Well, you can't show up in your cap and gown. That's a well, gathering I of more than 50 people. in my cap and gown in August when the rescheduled graduation is. Well, oh, we, you mean when we shut up... down the states again? Oh, of course. Uh, when we show up in the, whether I should show up in the Zoom call with my cap and gown. Yeah, the Zoom call with your cap and gown, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This has turned into the sad cast with uh with R Riley Brooks. Like this is I, the fucking sad cast. I, I feel like now we should like just redo the intro and it should be like the intro song should be like bum bum bum, bum no bum, This bum, is gonna be the MoCast lost episode episode two. <laughs> No, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> well, like, we don't talk about a lost episode one and how that oh, was. Oh, I think I know what that is. And how Mo was coming off his, like, antidepressant medication. And it was sort of like the first time he's ever had to do that. And, well, like, as an adult, like, I did that a lot back in uh, when I was a teenager because he used to fuck with my head. Like, now, see, I, like, he was a school related story. Uh, going to school on my antidepressants because I had epilepsy real bad once upon a time. I don't have seizures or anything anymore, and I haven't had one since I was like 16, 17. But, uh, I used to have to take my antidepressants, and I'd fucking zombie walk through fucking school. I, I wouldn't remember shit. My parents got real fucking worried about me because I'd just sit there, and I would just, like, have this sad look on my face and then sleep do my homework and just like you know lay down or just be sad or sick and uh, it, it sucked so like uh yeah you know yeah that, that was that's a school story is zombie walking through school and not remembering a goddamn thing because of the freaking medication that you're on i think that sucked but yeah there's there's other stuff to do like uh, uh riley what would be regale us with tales of some wacky high school hijinks that you've engaged in? And go. Hijinks? Uh, you think I'm cool enough to get into hijinks? Come on. But you don't have to be quote unquote cool to get into hijinks. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I show up to class. I try not to fall asleep, and I go to the next class. So you're 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 saying to me with a straight face that you don't like ever just like 
shoot a spitball at the teacher or like you know thunk someone's ear or something like that or you know like maliciously bully them online until you to the point where they're crying you don't do any of that i mean i've made like one-liners about them joke. under my breath but nothing that ever got me into actual trouble Riley, did, did you don't happen to have like a list with names on, on them or anything, do you? A list with names of who? Uh, of people at your school. Um, Are you people that have wronged you or crossed you in some way? <laughs> people oh, who made you oh. angry and you're not going to fucking take it anymore? Oh, that list. Yeah, of course I have that. It's called the kill list. <laughs> okay, I was going to say that. I was going to say the hamburger list or something so you don't get in trouble, but, like, I would have ever, like, written, like, you know, this is my grocery list, you know, Steve and Kyle and Tammy and fucking Karen, <laughs> you bitch, you know, like, I would have it on there, like, the, you know, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, you whore, fucking the bitch who dumped me, you know, like, I would have, <laughs> like, things like that, I, I would actually have you... <laughs> Like right down All the you kill list. Sexually active men. <laughs> I am the supreme gentleman. You know, Riley Brooks. <laughs> I, I gotta take I gotta buy a plane ticket to Isla Vista. What Go is what is Isla Vista? It's the city in California that Elliot Rogers shot up. See, I don't know anything really about Elliot Rogers <laughs> other than like it's it's his name is Elliot Rogers and he shot up a school somewhere and his Monkey name Jones. Elliot Rogers, it's Elliot Roger. Hashtag fake fan. Oh, pff, excuse me, Mister Van, for not having all my school shooter facts lined up in front of me. <laughs> In fact, I, you know, like like a fool, I should have had something school shooter related, like lined up in front of me because I, like I, I figured that inevitably we would talk about school shootings because I actually have a fucking story about Columbine, uh, later when Holy we finally shit. get to me. I want to hear your Columbine story. No, oh, dude. We can go back to my high school mediocrity life. I want to hear about your Columbine story. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But first off, like we're starting with you, and this is this is your bit, so this is your time to shine, and like you know, like. There's got to be something like, you know, like wacky that you've done or like you and your friends have done, right? Because like you, you at least like hang out with a couple of people, don't you? Yeah, I have my friends, but we mostly just like talk and shit. We don't get into shenanigans. Have you ever cheated it off each other on a test or anything? Oh, of course. It's not, it's not that hard to do. I just sit next to my friend and I'm like, just don't just don't make it look like I'm involved. I'll just make sure I'm not covering my paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're cheating off the student who gets D's? Yeah, no, I, I, I get D's because I don't. No, 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 no. Hold on. I think we finally well, found the problem D's. here. Maybe you're cheating off the wrong. You're hey, cheating hey, off a hey, moron. Hey. You need to cheat off a, hey. a smart person. Last quarter, I had damn near honor roll grades. I had one C, and it really makes me mad because it's the closest I've gotten in so long. Oh, and now that we're in this quarantine, you can't cheat on a Zoom call, so I get you. No, no. Now that we're in this quarantine, it's just a bunch of bullshit busy work that I don't know how to do and can't turn around and be like, hey, Miss Teacher Lady, what the fuck is any of this? And she'd tell me, oh, here's how you do it. And I'd be like, okay, great. And then I do you have it, teachers then... that answer questions for you? My God. <laughs> this is crazy. Wild. When did schools get that way? All right, and tell I you what. Retain, I don't retain knowledge as well when I'm just reading it on a computer screen. I need somebody to tell me, hey, here's this. Here's how this works. And I'd be like, okay, good. Now I understand because someone has explained it to me with words. Well, okay, okay. And I can yeah. ask them clarifying questions. <laughs> Maybe maybe shenanigans and all that isn't your thing. Could you give us like a uh, give us a story about a, a, like a horrific fucking argument that you've had with a teacher where like you, you got upset and shouted her down or you got sent to the principal's office? Like you've been sent to the principal's office, haven't you? Um, like in 
elementary school. Dear God, you fucking do-gooder little bastard. Do you not do it? <laughs> like, so you don't say anything on fire. I've been sent to like, the principal's office for grades. Like, I've had them call me down and be like, why are you failing everything? And I, I just Mo, like, it's a different time. If you set something on fire now, you go to federal prison for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Somebody did set something on fire at my school, but we've already talked about that. Yeah, that yeah. That, that's, open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was sort of like a, like trying to avoid you having to tell that story again about like some wackaloons setting shit on fire and you're fucking <laughs> you're like, God, I, that's I guess the they're... most wacky shit I see in my school is people getting into fights and doing crazy shit because i go to like the worst school well okay okay well uh do you have another story about that then like a a crazy fight or something that uh that you've uh just seen on the from the just uh, as an observer i mean i i remember one time i was just walking to class i think i was walking to my last class of the day and i saw like some female staff members very intently running past me and i'm like huh i wonder what's going on and then I go down the stairs, and there's two girls just fucking laying into each other, physically, just beating the shit out of each other. Damn. Just, like, do you know what just, for? No. Like, it ain't no, over I a man or gang story. affiliation or anything like that? Just like uh, the, Probably gangs. I hear a lot about gangs, so usually I just assume it has something to do with gangs. Jesus, man, what kind yeah, of... All the like... kids in their yang gangs and whatever. <laughs> yeah, yang gangs! The yang gangs, the, 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 the grimaces, the, the, the McRibwitches. Gucci the Gucci gangs, there we go. <laughs> well, all right, all right, yeah, all right. The, oh, a go lot ahead. of the funniest fights I've seen are women. Like, I don't see men fight as much, really. Like, it's a bunch of women beat the shit out of each other. Damn. Like, I gotta like go to your to, school, what? shit. I never saw a chick fight at my school. Like, I think I seen one. At lunch one day, we were just like, I'm just sitting there, like, eating my food alone, like I usually do, because I'm sad and lonely. And suddenly, a girl stands on top of a table, because I think she was arguing, and she stood on top of the table to, like, I don't know, make her point more aggressive. She, she stood on top of the table... And then they just, she jumped down from the table and they started fucking beating the shit out of each other. It was very funny. God damn. <laughs> dude, like, a, I saw a dude clothesline a motherfucker uh, one time when I was in freaking college. It, it was it was just like a hell of a fucking scene. Uh, we were just like sitting there in the smoking section, right? All of a sudden you hear, motherfucker, fuck you. Clothesline, brr, I mean, he just fucking like the dude eats fucking concrete, uh, right? Like he first he hits the slab that he was sitting on, and then he hits the fucking ground. Which, cause we're in a smoking section in the parking lot, because why not put all the smokers where all the uh, carbon monoxide is already, right? And uh, yeah, that's uh, that that was some fucking hairy shit. But of course, it's fucking Houston, Texas. Well, what else? What else do you fucking expect? Anyway, so. So, just to, just I have a couple stories because I am a goody two shoes, and that is a couple stories in and of itself. Okay. Just, just teachers that like. I guess I just have this thing where like teachers like me because I'm not the worst th person in history, like every other teenage boy. So like, there's this crotchety old lady who I had as a fucking teacher for marine science, and she is just. The biggest bitch in history. Marine science? <laughs> yes, marine science. Would she be the biggest That's bitch the in the standard universe? curriculum? Uh, what, Mo? Oh, no, no, no. Robin said that was the standard curriculum. Yeah, a bitch. Yeah, oh, so they, they had science? a bunch of... Yes. They had a bunch of Cassandras trying to be, like, marine biologists then? Probably. Yeah, you would know that you would laugh at that joke a little bit better if you watched Seinfeld. You don't watch Seinfeld, do yeah, you? Yeah, like, basically, no. Basically, they had Earth science, and they had Earth and Space science, and you had Marine science, and you had to take one of them. Mm -hmm. And I took Marine science, and then I failed it. Now I'm taking Earth and Space science. See, that's, Earth that's science was, was standard <laughs> curriculum. I had never heard of Marine science. But yeah, this crotchy old bitch in my Marine science class just the worst to the class as a group. Like, insufferable but then whenever i was with her alone like if i was the last one out of class because i wasn't really paying attention and i didn't realize the bell had rung she was like 
super nice to me. And it was so weird because she'd be mean to me, like, as part of the crowd. But when I, when she was, like, with just me, she was, like, super nice. It's this weird effect I have on these teachers where I guess they're just so used to dealing with the fucking drums of society that when you get a kid who's just kind of, yeah. like, there and isn't the worst, you... <laughs> You're like, wow, this kid is cool. He doesn't make me want to kill myself. I'm gonna be nice to him. It's sort of like, you know, all the all the years being a teacher's aide and now being a teacher have finally paid off. I get this I get this little boy and he's all like, Hi teacher, I'm a good boy. My name's Riley. Yay. I'm sorry I like made you look like this <laughs> like anything else other than that. My bad. Um I mean, yeah, that's what I do. I'm just polite, and I try. I don't pay attention to them, and that gets on their nerves sometimes. But I'm just, you know, I'm polite to them. I hold the door to their class. I say hello to them when I walk in, and I'm just a polite guy. <laughs> and, like, there was this one time, like, I put on that even though I hate teachers. Like, that bitch was an example. But another example was this this lady who taught. It all goes back to science. This was, like, my first. This is my second year of high school science. This was chemistry in 10th grade. And there was this lady who, although she wasn't, like, mean, she just didn't know how to fucking teach a class. And I don't think she was very good at the subject matter she was teaching, because I went to fucking, you know, big boy genius school for the first two years of high school. Like, all the kids there were fucking, G like, Jimmy Neutron boy genius, just fucking acing everything, except for me. <laughs> Like, the, the reason I stopped going to that school was because that was a dual enrollment only school, and you had to have, like, after 10th grade, you had to have, like, a 3.0 GPA, and you had to pass this test. What's and I think dual I passed, enrollment? It's where you go to college while you're going to high school. Oh, okay. I, I, did, I did that. I did that. That was cool. Yeah, and so you had to pass this test, which I believe I passed two out of the three categories of when I took it, like, twice. But they did give it to me a couple times, and then eventually they realized, oh, this kid's not going to have the GPA anyway. Why are we fucking bothering? And then, yeah, you have to have a 3.0 GPA, which I was way the fuck off from. So that huh. was my reality. But the science teacher was – she would get things wrong. Like, she would mark kids wrong. And, you know, these are the genius kids, so they would explain to her why they were, in fact, right, even though she marked her, them wrong. And she would acknowledge this, and then she'd never fix the grade. And kids would have low grades in this class because she did this. And it, it upset a lot of my friends, so I naturally just didn't like the woman. So I was just, you know, mostly dismissive towards her, just be nice, be polite like I usually am. And then one day... If this is just so funny to me, because, like, I hate this woman. I have... <laughs> I don't like this woman in the slightest. And as I'm helping her clean up a lab, clean up from a lab we were doing outside, and I'm, like, five minutes late to my next class, she tells me I'm her favorite student. I'm just like, oh, cool, yeah, great. <laughs> I'm glad I'm the worst teacher's favorite student. I love it. It was like, well, can you give me an A real quick so I can pass this fucking class yeah, and not have to, and not to take the shit? Like, hey, can I get a passing grade then teach? Hey, my favorite favorites? Yeah, of course. Hey, do you have those no. test answers? <laughs> I passed that class with a, I passed that class with a grade that shouldn't have been a D, but somehow became a D. Like, I passed that class with a fifty-nine, and they counted it as a D. God damn! Like, that's usually yeah. a, like a real low F. Like that's usually back, like a back high in my F, day. That's the exact Wait, highest. That's the F highest F. Yeah. Wait, hold, hold <laughs> yes. on. Well, like this, not like there's not such a thing as F plus or F minus now, are there? No, but basically, no. F like, is fifty nine or lower. Oh, okay. Or lower I, I thought that was well. No, yeah. like when I was in school, it was sixty. Or it was like it was uh, sixty is the D. It was sixty nine and down. Below is D. 60 oh is the wow. Jesus, they really lowered the standards. Ugh. I mean, By like one point, though. <laughs> no, from like no, like if you made below a seventy, that was an F. Oh shit! Well, you suck. Your your class sucks. 
Hmm. So anyway. Uh, yeah, that's just my story is of being a polite, nice boy and having teachers who I hate be nice to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like 60 to 69 is a, is a, uh, a D. And then, <laughs> nice. Um, nice 70 to 79 <laughs> is a c um 80 to 89 is a b and then 90 to 100 is an a uh, maybe i'm just with various mi- pluses i guess maybe i'm just misremembering shit i might just be misremembering shit because like 70 something was like a a c when i was growing up but anyway so we got those riveting tales of adventure and and fun and excitement from riley uh, Robin, perhaps you can regale us the tales of uh, of just times in high school. If only. I went to high school for like half a year. <laughs> um, I went to, well, it was like a full year almost. I went to, um, my whole school life was like the, uh, you know how they always talk online about like the tragedy of the gifted student? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my entire existence in school. It was like elementary school being like the favorite, like the you know, oh you're gifted, and then like towards the end of elementary school, I was doing um like a program where uh, like one day out of the week you'd go to like the middle school and like you know hang out there and do some like middle school stuff. Yeah. Um, to like get into like a special middle school, which is a middle school for gifted children. And then you like take a test for admission, and I got into there. And then in eighth, yeah, eighth grade, I uh, some some kid, uh, some kid threw a basketball at me, and so I just like clocked him in the face, and then got expelled. Ouch! You got expelled. <laughs> I got expelled. That's fucked up. He threw a basketball at you. <laughs> threw a basketball, like right in my, like walked up to me with a basketball and like cl- like hit me in the face with it. So I, I swung and just punched with him. I broke his glasses, I think. Oh, well, the little bastard had oh it fucking God. coming. He was, he was, he was a small dude. He was a small. I, I don't know why he decided to throw a basketball. Like I definitely hurt him more than he hurt me. It was like, how do I ruin my own day today? Oh, okay, let me throw a basketball at someone's fucking head. Was An like obvious example of sexism in the school system. They would expel you when a man assaulted you, and then you assaulted him back. Well, I, I wasn't out in middle school. I wasn't even out until I was out of high school. Uh, so... Uh... So what happened in high? So like you, you just got expelled and that was it. You never. Yeah, I got really... expelled, and so I went to I went to homeschool for ninth grade, or not ninth grade for for the end of the the end of uh, eighth grade or whatever. Um, and then I did. There was a program for like, um, going to a, like, high end high school, uh, half day. So you'd do like half day at the high high school and then like you know half day at your um like whatever shitty public school you go to in the area in the district mm-hmm. right so mm-hmm. i went half half day at homeschool and half day at the high school which was cool which is where i, I met a lot of what would be my internet friends at the time as well because like we all like i ended up finding people that you know went on the internet and did shit and were actually interesting and not shitty high schoolers. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I actually have a story about that a little later on. But uh, yeah, I found I f- we ended up all uh, bonding over League of Legends, basically. Oh shit! You know, I started playing League, and like I, I think that's really fun. I didn't think I was ever going to get into another fucking MOBA again, but uh, uh, like the last few days, I've been playing uh, Misfortune. And Master Yi, and so far I'm having a blast playing Misfortune. Yeah, Misfortune. I'm I'm not very good at Misfortune, but Yi's cool. Yeah, it's it's really weird to get into a DPS slash melee hero in a MOBA because usually I'm range or sometimes I'm magic. Like I I've never actually been uh, a, a fucking uh, a DPS or like direct combat hero. I can pretty much play anyone in League if I wanted to. There's some people that I just don't touch, but I, I mm-hmm. play most of the roster. Um, yeah, so we all like bonded over League, 
and we all like you know had like Skype groups and everything. Uh, it's funny because actually like all of my friends in high school knew Riley. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I, I forgot like yeah, you and Bird and and Riley and all them. You're y'all are all friends IRL and now on the internet, right? I've I've never met Bird. Oh um, okay. But yeah, I lived with Riley for a little bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But I, I've known Riley since I was like ten or something, or like twelve. No shit. You ever like see him like just a clock a dude and get expelled from school by any chance? <laughs> no, I didn't know him in real life. I knew him on the internet. <laughs> was oh, Riley okay. the one who threw the basketball? <laughs> oh my god, that would be so goddamn funny if that was uh, like. It the sounds real... like something he would do. <laughs> like, hey, clunk. Ow! You hit me. My my glasses. All right, I'm gonna stop before he gets pissed at me. Cause I I, I like I'm already getting enough shit from. It was uh, flag man. He had his flag on his back. He threw a basketball. Oh in god! Face. Like I'm already getting enough shit from people in uh, <clears throat> other discords right now. That like will just segue into the next point of uh. Uh, was Wait, which there discords? I'm confused. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it later off the freaking <laughs> off cast, you know. Okay. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I only went to high school for about a year, and uh, I mean, not not much really happened in in school. Like a lot of it was like, you know, talking to people online outside of school. You ever so seen... I was only going for half a day for a year. So. Oh, so you like uh, what'd you do? Just finish up the rest of your senior year or whatever, or your high school life and uh, homeschool? Yeah, I finished up the like the remaining five, three years in homeschool, and then it was really funny because like I did the homeschool, and then you like I call up the state to be like, hey, is there like a test you're supposed to take now? Like, what's the what's the situation with like graduating homeschool, right? Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, cool, we'll uh, we'll document that you've graduated. Oh, that's that's really like, anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, do we, do we get like a diploma or something? And they're like, uh, I mean, you can print one out if you want. <laughs> like, we don't care with the state. You're all the fucking same. You're all puppets for our corporations. God damn. So, uh, so like, they just put like a checkbox in my whatever government files exist that say that I've graduated, and that's it. <laughs> Damn, so you didn't get a graduation, too. So I'm the odd man out here, so to speak. I'm the only one who uh, actually uh, graduated full stop, did the traditional uh, high school thing, huh? Uh, damn. I so. Th that's fucking crazy, because like, when I was growing up, like you would hear tales of uh, uh, people really not being able to get past high school. It was such a... It was such a fucking arduous task for a lot of people. They would try their best to, to show up on time and actually graduate their class. And uh, for the life of them, they just couldn't fucking do it. Uh-oh. I think my niece is going fucking batshit. Oh. Well, Seth, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Anyway, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like, when you're growing up, you hear all these tales about people not being able to graduate. And because uh, I, I came from a huge, huge class. Uh, like back in, uh, I think it was like 95, 96, something like that when I got into high school, when I got into ninth grade. And then like you sort of watch your your graduating class just like sort of like get whittled down and whittled down and whittled down. And people like I've had a few people die on me. I've had people like tons of people drop out. Uh, lots of more people uh uh, getting their GEDs by the time I fi uh, finally graduate I think there was like 30 40 of us out of like a class of probably like maybe a couple of hundred but uh uh so so like tell me what what was what was homeschool like I've never really been homeschooled ever uh so like what was that like for you what, what was your homeschool experience like if it's not too personal yeah I, uh, I sat around and played League of Legends all day <laughs> What was that? It like there was no one really saying, Robin, you better do your fucking math homework. Don't be playing no lol. You, the only bot that I want to hear is like the bottom. Uh, you know, I can't make a joke. I have no like. No, the state doesn't joke. provide anything, or like nothing. There's no. There's nothing required. It was just I sat around and played League of Legends all day, and then the state said, "Cool, you're graduated." 
Thumbs up. Jesus, man. I mean, wow. Like, like is it, a good deal? I mean, well, not really. Like, you, you seem to be deprived of, a, like, an education. I mean... I that 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 I think it really sucks. Like, uh, did did you did you do any homework or anything like that? Any book reports or did they ever test you? It was no. it really well, it was. was. Like, I'll have to take a test. Well, because it was like I knew I could pass like the GED or whatever fucking state test they were gonna give me. So I was just like, cool. I guess I'll just write it out until they give me that test. And then they never did. And they were just like, cool, you graduated. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, good job. Proud of you. Oh Jesus! All right, I'm, I'm glad that you got. It. I'm glad that you, uh, you got your diploma or whatever. But good lord, they like talk about like doing the abs- not even doing the bare minimum. God, I, I just figured. Oh well, oh well, I guess I guess that's just how it is. I suppose. Yeah, like you you always expect more to 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 happen when you when you go to homeschool. Like I, I watch a bunch of people online now who talk about their Depends homeschool. On the state. Uh, it depends and it on depends on your parents too. My parents were like, "Whatever, as long as you get your diploma." Like, <laughs> <sighs> all right. So, uh, uh, I guess then, like, other than like some wacky nights playing uh, uh, League of Legends till like the early morning, you probably don't have any other like uh, tales of like people getting like I don't know, getting clothesline or shot up or anything, would you? No, I mean, like, I don't know, like, the, like, most violent thing in, in school was probably, like, in middle school, where, uh, this kid, uh, I, I don't know if I've told this on the podcast or not, I might have, where, uh, this kid Jonas, that was his name. This kid threw a basketball at my face, I don't know if I told that story already. No, 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 no. You, you deserve Jonas. that basketball to the face, Riley. And, uh, <laughs> there were, all, there was, like, a clear divide in, in middle, in my middle school, anyway, of, like, these are the kids that do the work. These are the kids that are, like, the middle. And then these are the kids that, like, sit on, like, one side of the class and are, like, specifically <laughs> sectioned off as people who just, like, talk during class and don't pay attention. Uh, I fucking hated that shit. Like, uh, we, we, we had some some hellacious times in school back in the uh, back in the old days. Uh, like so fucking... Jonas was on the fucking, like, slack off side. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fucking... I was also on the slack off side because I would just sit around and like talk and not really pay attention. Yeah. And uh, it was in uh, social studies, I think, when I, I don't even know what like preempted this, but he had this big old like bag or box of like rulers, like a ton of like rulers. What the hell is he doing with that many rulers? I don't know, but he started chucking them at our teacher. <laughs> God damn, little just, bastard. Just, Pelting her and like she was like a nice teacher. Like I, I liked her. She was a nice teacher. Her name was Mrs. Poole. She was our social studies teacher, and she was like an older woman. And he just started like pelting her with rulers, and he was like screaming and just like, and I mean he wasn't like you know softly checking them. He was like you know overhand like going for it. Yeah, like putting his fucking strength in his arm and shit, like going for it. Yeah, like throwing with his whole body. With every ruler. I don't know why he had so many rulers or what happened. But at, at some point, um, the school, uh, we had this, like, assistant to the principal because the principal never fucking did anything. It was just this lady who was, like, related to whoever owned the school or some shit who was, like, there all the time and made all the real decisions. But I don't know. She was, she was a bitch. Fuck her. But she comes in with, like, um, like some other dude and, like, the counselor. And uh, they're like, come on, Jonas, come on. We, we're going to bring you somewhere you can be safe. Come on, Jonas. We're, you'll be okay. Everything's going to be okay, Jonas. We're going to put you somewhere, and you're going to be you're gonna be just fine. And he never showed up to school again. He was gone. Oh, <laughs> well, they My probably God. took his ass and, like, fucking shot his ass and th- dumped him in a ditch. Like, <laughs> I, think he, I think they brought him to an asylum or something. <laughs> like, because some, some kids' his ass is, just need to be beat. Like until they fucking stop, man. Like that little fucker, like seemed like <laughs> chuck, stop just like breathing. chuck, and like you know, like you just fucking chuck fucking rulers at old ladies who are just like sweet old ladies who are being teachers. Like sit down, class. You're going to need, you're going to learn your teachers too. 
bam, fuck you, bitch. And you just fucking get like rulers chucked at you. Like, dude, that ass needs to be fucking paintbrushed. Fucking with like just a paddle fucking for at least three fucking hours a goddamn day. Oof. Like, oh, man, I got, just I got some in big trouble kids. in elementary school. No, what you do? Or no, was it elementary school or was it middle school? I think it was. Oh, no, it was. It was middle school. Um, I. This had been like not that long after Minecraft had come out, I think. When did uh -huh. Minecraft come out? I'm not 100% sure on up. that. Minecraft. Let me figure this out. I don't know when it came out, but it was like not too long. I like it was either like right after it had it had dropped. It was before beta. It was probably still in alpha at that point or it had just turned beta. Beta. And uh we we always had a lot of like free time on the computers in the like in our little computer lab because it was mm -hmm. like it was like connected to our lunchroom. So like our cafeteria was one big room and part of the room was the computer lab. Like sectioned off in this in this one big room. And um if like once you finished your lunch, if you were like one of the cool kids, you could like go into the computer lab and like just chill out after lunch. Yeah. Cause we didn't really get like a recess. We got like uh, cause uh, cause it's fucking middle school. We but we got like free time. Yeah. So I mean, you could like chill out somewhere and do something, or if you were like one of the chiller kids, you could go in the computer lab. So like, I would I would do that because fucking thank God. <laughs> and uh, I decided like I was gonna try bringing Minecraft in because you couldn't access the Minecraft website because it's it's blocked. So I was like, all right, I'm going to like put it on a flash drive. So I put like Minecraft on a flash drive, like the like installer or whatever for it. And like brought it in and plugged it in. And then it was like, oh, you need administrator access to run it. And I was like, oh, shit. And my friend in school, his name was Zeus. He was like, oh, well, if you need an administrator access, I know uh, I know my elementary school teachers like log in. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. So. Like, we sign in on, on his elementary school teacher's login, so that way I can download Minecraft on the computer. So we download, like, Minecraft. Hell yeah! Hell and now we have yeah. the Minecraft connection. Yeah, now we can play Minecraft in the computer lab whenever, we're, whenever we get a chance. See, we always used to just have Doom and fucking Quake uh, installed, because we essentially did the same thing. Like, a, one of our friends got the administrator's fucking password, right? And uh, we just like we, uh -huh. we like a fucking virus. We just spread it out to all of our little friends, and we installed a, a Doom and Quake on there, and that's how we did our thing. Like, cause we didn't. Th this is when FPSs and shit were just starting. We didn't have uh, Minecraft, obviously, cause this is back in ninety eight, ninety nine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry you to interrupt. You touched on an important point there. It spread like a virus, right? Mm -hmm. So like some people got wise to it, and and you know it started. They wanted to play Minecraft too. And so it like started spreading around, and then people were like coming around and asking us like, "Hey, what's the login?" Like people like in in grades higher than us, right? We're coming and going like, "Hey, what's this login you guys are using?" And so it became like kind of a big thing. And at some point, kids started getting plucked into the principal's office. Oh no! And like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like. Like, this one girl, Taylor, got pulled into the principal's office, and it was, like, th there was, like, the look when I, like, I looked at her, and I was, it was, like, the, if you fucking say anything, I'm gonna be real mad, like, <laughs> and at some point, they pull me in, and she's in there, like, crying, <laughs> oh, because man. she, because she sold, because she, I know, she, I knew when I walked in there, she was crying, I was, like, oh, she fucking sold me out on this. And uh, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna give up that it was it was my buddy's. It was, so I just said like I had I knew what this password was. I like figured it out on my own, and like took the fucking the bullet on it. Ugh. And I was like, yeah, I, I I knew this password. And they were like, yeah, this we we had seen from our like computer administration that like you know th this account was getting logged in a bunch, and uh, we went and we informed the teacher and this and that. And I I wouldn't like spill where I figured out the password from because i'm not a fucking shithead yeah 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 because fuck that don't ever rat on your friends yep Ugh. so i got like in school suspension for like a very fucking long time oh dude i fucking hated iss when i was a kid 
Like I, I, other than being ex uh, uh, expelled or expended, every fucking punishment you can throw at me, I fucking got in fucking junior high and high school multiple fucking times. It was the reason, it was probably the reason I got expelled. It was probably like they couldn't expel me for it, but they were looking for any reason. And then I punched a kid and they were like, fuck it. Goodbye. Well, finally, we, we have you now. <laughs> oh, we have you now. All right, so you got anything else you want to talk about uh, as far as your schooling days? Um, I don't know. It was a bunch of ridiculous shit like that. I think there was one other funny one I can think of. No, what is it? Was um, it's probably yeah. I think it was also this was also in middle school. Middle school was like the year I had friends that weren't online friends. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's different <laughs> when you have friends that are like that you get on like Skype afterwards and talk to and play League of Legends. It's different when you have like friends who you don't do that with. Yeah, because you have to you have to walk the line of being like polite but not insulting, because you can't just blurt out, "Guys, I know real people now. You're nothing to me. Goodbye." You just can't blurt that out, or like you know they're like real people. You know, like well, what the fuck well, am I? Mean, I? Zeus, Zeus and I were really good friends. I don't know what happened to him. Like I've tried looking him up and like just can't find. Like he didn't have a he, he didn't like have a home computer or anything. He didn't have. A, he was like one of the poor kids. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't, like, find him anywhere. Or I, I would reach out and say what's up. I gave him my, uh, when we were in middle school, when I, like, when Christmas came around, I got my DSi. Um, so I didn't have to have my DS Lite anymore, so I, like, gave him my old one. Because mm -hmm. I was like, now we can, like, because I can still play DS games on the DSi, so now we can, like, play Pokemon or some shit. No, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's cool. But one, the, here's one thing that happened in middle school was uh, there was this kid that like everyone ha hung out with, but everyone disliked him a lot. <laughs> and I had I had known him from um, uh, from like scouts as a kid, from like Cub Scouts and shit. Uh, his name was Ben, and and literally it was like everyone talked to him and hung out with him, but nobody liked him. That's gotta be and, a weird uh, fucking existence. Yeah, well, it's just because, like, he was around. And so, like, they'd hang with him, but everyone would, like, also kind of, like, shit-talk him. I wouldn't, I, like, I didn't really, like, shit-talk him that much. But, like, he would do some, like, annoying shit. Like, I, one time he stole all my fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I was, like, incredibly fucking pissed off. And yeah. I, I, like, I grabbed his backpack and, like, dumped out all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards onto the floor and, like, in front of the teacher, and I was just like, I'm, I'm taking my stuff back. But uh, he, he had a, uh, I was like in class, like writing some shit down. And I always used a pen because I hate the sound of a pencil. I don't know. It was just like a weird thing. Any teacher that would let me use a pen, I would use a pen. And um, he, he was like, hey, can I, can I like have that pen? Because I, I need a pen. And I was like, what? Fucking, I don't have a pen. I don't have another pen. So like, fuck off. <laughs> like, go, go fucking ask the teacher for a spare pen or pencil or something. But the teacher's probably going to say like, well, you should have brought a pen to class. And if you don't do your work, you're going to get a zero. Like that kind of shit. Oh, you bitch. I, I fucking hate that shit. I hate <laughs> that shit. <laughs> yep. And uh, so he like, you know, got up and like left at some point. And he comes back with a teacher, with like the like the math teacher or whatever, whatever class we were in. And she goes, "So Benjamin here is telling me that uh, that you took his pen." And I go, "Excuse Are you me, fucking serious?" <laughs> and I was like, "Excuse me." I was like, "No, I brought this pen in." And uh, she's like, oh, "Well," and he's also telling me that you're asking for money to get it back. You realize that's extortion, right? God go, damn. Oh, <laughs> And what I'm like, I, shit. yeah, and I'm like, I'm not extorting him. This is my pen, and I didn't offer him money for it. I said to to heck off. Like I told him to like leave me alone. And at some point, she made me give up the fucking pen because she's like, extortion's a crime. I could, I like, I could get you in real trouble for this. And so I had to give up my fucking pen because she's threatening to call like the police because I'm extorting him for a pen. God damn, what that's really God? fucked up. That's because <laughs> like she was literally gonna call the police. That's what you should have gotten expelled for, and that kid. 
Oh, fucking Ben, dude. <laughs> That's really well, fucked up. No God damn. Liked them, right? Like, you would do this kind of shit. Uh huh. I think I ended up getting another pen because I was friends with this guy, Ian, who. Ian was like the fucking pen lord. He had like a huge ass pencil box and he had so many pens and pencils. So, it, like, since I was like kind of friends with him, I, I could always go, like, Ian, give me a pen. <laughs> Quickly. God damn. Like, I, I've never had shit like that ever happen to me before in fucking high school or junior high. I always just got fucked with because, like, I, I was, like, the fat kid that just got fucking relentlessly bullied in fucking high school. Like, and mm -hmm. I, 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 like what I did is I, I made friends with all the fucking gangsters and shit. Like, the fucking, because this is back in the early 90s. Like, uh, when, quote, unquote, high school gangs were becoming, they were Made being a thing. with all the crypts and the bloods and the... <laughs> well, dude, because that's what you had. I was just kept getting fucked with and fucked with. And then, like, uh, uh, the, 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 the cliques started fucking forming. Like, we had, like, the freaks and, and, and weirdos. Like, uh, uh, where, where everyone who wasn't, like, you know, a, a straight Bible-thumping fucking Christian. Uh, and believe me, th there was no such thing as other, quote, unquote, religions when I was in school. It, it was it really was the Southern Baptist uh, Southern experience when I when I was growing up, you know, and uh, people kept fucking with me because like I'd go to church, but I, I wasn't like you know this praise him, oh, and I still Jesus listen to my Christ, your Lord and Savior. Yeah, well, because I wanted to talk about God, but I wanted to talk about God, you know, and that was a big no no. Because God is God, and who are you to talk about God? You know, and that, that fucking always blew my mind when I was a kid. So, question Jesus. Yeah, I was like, well, I'm not questioning Jesus. Just, you know, I, I want to know more about his existence. And, and why, why you think, like, you know, everyone who isn't like us goes to hell. And there's six million Jews that died in the Holocaust that fucking, like, sort of like that. That's kind of fucked up. So, like, you know, you're... Like you're telling me God uh, like accepts that, and th I, I asked questions, and I kept getting fucked with. So I made friends with all the fucking gangsters and scumbags and hoodlums, and then, you know, then we made up our own fucking little uh, clique of fucking scumbags and hoodlums, and you know that that was that was fun, and that's how you get protection. Exactly. But yeah. So uh, after you like joined the clan, what happened like, then? Well, you know, like I we had. Well, we had barbecues every other consecutive Sunday, and we made sure that the the police chief and captains of the fire fire department was all in. Hey, hey no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but God, uh, we did once upon a time in this town have a fucking real problem with the Klan. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's because like, you know, when you're growing up, you don't fucking you you hear about like shit like the the face uh, Klan, right? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yes, Riley, the fucking Phase Clan. We had problems with the Phase Clan and, and, and Ninja and Doctor Disrespect. Well. They, they they kept fucking cutting up our little town into sections. You know, uh, it was just a shut up. You, you shut the fuck up. Anyway, oh, uh, and then Summit G One showed up. It was a whole fucking ordeal. Ugh. Then Tim the Tap Man did a drive-by on Dr. Disrespect. It was a whole fucking thing. <laughs> like, the whole fucking town was up in arms of that, and I tell you what. But anyway. Nah, but, uh, yeah, we had fucking real problems with the fucking, uh, the clan. Uh, you know, like, growing up, like, you're, you're always hearing about, like, you know, the, the clan, the Black Panthers, the Mexican Mafia, and all this other fucking shit, right? And, like, you always think... Well, real good. Huh? I said one of those is a little different than the others. Well, like you know, like it, like growing <laughs> up, we we didn't really know the actual difference, you know. Like it was just like people with guns who were like primarily one group was something to be like feared, right? Because you didn't know any better. Like because like what am I? You know, like when I was a kid, how can I tell the difference between a group of guys with guns and another group of guys with guns that weren't cops? You know, because you didn't know that. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so, you know, we, we would sit there and uh, one day I was asked to help uh, this one friend of ours. Uh, we were just helping him move, right? Because the daughter just wanted to get out of here. And uh, we, we were told that those people were a little shady. 
And like I was like, shady how? Like this lady is a freaking teacher at my fucking high school, right? I, I've known these people for like the longest fucking time. They're dead now. So, you know, uh, oh. yeah, they're, they're also very, okay. very dead. But uh, and, and there's a point to that uh, statement here in a moment. But uh, oh, no. so we we went in their house. Did you kill people, Mo? No, I did not did kill, kill people. Them? I don't have a kill count. <laughs> Even though I threatened, I've threatened people with death many times. I I I, I never actually followed through with it. I was just I'm like sure mad. You threatened me with death before. No, just a couple of I choke slams and a fucking you know an elbow, a flying elbow. You know, going oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, so you're fucking disrupting my story. So you shut your fucking trap. So anyway, anyway. Um, so when we go in there, and like the first thing I see is this big ass movie collection. And I'm like, hell yeah, man. Fucking A, man. Wow. I love this movie. I love this movie. Huh. And I'd be looking around and to the movie section and seeing, you know. You got an awful lot of fucking World War II documentaries and a lot of history of Nazi stuff here. And I'm looking oh, around no. more. That's that's when I finally look out to, you know, because I'm a cinephile, right? I love fucking movies. And so I finally decide to look past the fucking movie casing, the, the movie cases. And I saw a big old fucking swastik flag just hanging oh, from the fucking, God. hanging, hanging from the fucking roof, right? So, mind you, this is, like, B.C., before car, for Mo, And, like, so I can't go anywhere. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm fucking stuck here in this fucking place. Uh, let's just let's just hurry up and do what we got to do and fucking get out of here. Because now I'm starting to get freaked out. And we go up the steps and you start seeing pictures of Adolf Hitler and all that. And uh, you see, like, multiple copies of Mein Kampf and... I like oh god like every step is just like and my my buddy right next to me is like just just shut up man don't say anything we're not we we like we get our ass kicked or something here like okay let's just get this fucking thing and go and so like we we probably did the fastest moving job known to man uh for this one lady who uh who who was a teacher in our fucking school and then like 5 or 6 years later her husband died, and then she died, and that, oh, that was God. pretty much that, that was pretty much it. At least I like I'm I'm pretty sure the the lady's dead. I I I, I remember I recall like hearing about the husband dying, but he had like a your typical like Teddy Roosevelt fucking curly mustache, and you know like short hair, you know like a walk softly, carry a big stick sort of guy. And I'm sitting there going, well, that's uh, well, this is nice. Um. I'm going to go now. Like, we're just like, dude, like we, we pounded like half a fucking 18 pack going to fucking this town that was like 30 minutes from us going, dude, did you see that fucking big ass swastika on the fucking? Yeah, I was like, yeah, Mo, I, I saw it. Jesus Christ. I didn't know it was that bad. And <laughs> that that was that was my experience with the cl clan in town. And I, I think I think most of, like most of them were just old white dudes. And I think most of them, if not all of them, are fucking dead. So I guess time sort of took care of that problem for us. Because, like, I, I always lived in, like, a multicultural town, right? Like, it's it's uh -huh. weird. We had the, the big city experience, but, like, localized with the three, four thousand people, maybe. So, like, that, that, that that's what life was like, you know? And that's what school was fucking like. Because you don't, you, you don't expect a any of your teachers to be like a, possibly a part of the fucking clan or like a national socialist you're thinking to yourself hey that's miss uh, blank uh she's she's a part she's like a, a my fucking math teacher right oh there's mrs uh, jameson oh you know she's a part of the fucking city council like oh no you guys are fucking goose steppers man like fucking hell like i i fucking hated that shit and and I, I left this I, I left this town several times starting in nineteen ninety nine and things have changed. Sometimes it's, you think it's for the better, sometimes you, you don't you leave, you come back, you leave, you come back, you always come back. You yeah, it, it fucking it's, dude, it's something in the water, I fucking I gotta tell you. It, it's something in the water, like it's uh it's kinda crazy 'cause like growing up uh 
you know, we, we had our, our uh, mice graduating class, my school, and uh, we, we, we knew about, like, the outside world, right? But, like, once you started seeing shit, like, creeping in, that's when reality started hitting. Like, I had, like, my, I think my first, like, actual panic attack when I was, like, two months from graduating, right? Because, like, I didn't feel like anyone was, was talking to me. And I didn't, because I didn't know how to process, well, the last several fucking years, of my, like several years of my life, they're, they're actually coming to a, their logical conclusion now. You did well, good job, but like, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? And I had no fucking idea, right? And, you know, that, that was fucking crazy because it's like a lot of other, like, it, it was just something like, this is back when, like, you didn't really talk about it too much. And you just sort of fucking quote unquote dealt with it, and uh, yeah, but um, here's a story about reality creeping in. So, uh, six like I, I think it was like a month, month and a half or something, uh, uh like a, a just a, like right before we're about to graduate, fucking Columbine happened, and so no. this is my first like a uh, like. I, I don't like I, I Riley I guess are you old enough to remember 9/11? Uh, I was not born during 9/11, so no. Oh, okay, so you don't remember 9/11 all. All right, so try to stick with me here, and I'll try to explain this as best I can. Um, that was the first time, like when Columbine happened, and when like like it's it, it was a fucking crazy. It was the first time you saw like because we always quote unquote uh, uh, fought against the system. But the system was just the system, and you can't get rid of the system. But after Columbine happened, it was uh, that was the first time that the system sort of looked at all of you, you being the, gra the graduating class, like your potential fucking school shooters and thugs. And, you know, you could see the fucking hatred in the adults just, like, looking at you like you're a piece of shit. And for that that was the longest month and plus until graduation that I've ever experienced because uh everything wasn't exactly fine before Columbine it was just like okay so none of us got into a fight today uh you know we're not yelling at each other no one got expelled no one got into this or that and no one fucked with your locker and that was it so yada 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 uh, we, we were told, uh, like, if you need to go to the counselor's office to talk or something like that, we could. But we would just sit there going, well, what the fuck now? Because I don't know how to fucking deal with this. Because, like, we, like, I, I also, like, I remember when uh, uh, Waco happened. And I remember, like, uh, rumblings about the, the school shooting. You know, the one that uh, Pearl Jam did uh, a song about Jeremy. I remember when I was a kid, way, way young. I think it was like 1991, something like that. I remember hearing about that, but you never really think about that because for the longest time, uh, it was just something that never really happened. Like, until until it did. And then you're just like, well, fucking this just changed everything. And so that that's, that's, what, uh, uh, that's what graduation was like. It was uh, under the cloak of Im immense fear. And I never thought I would feel that again until like a few years later when 9-11 happened. And, uh, you know, I've never been able to shake that feeling ever since those two days. That's that's what my senior year was really all about. Now, like there were good times, you know, I, I like before all that shit happened because uh, they clamped down hard on this. Uh, I used to like uh, the, the, uh, when when football season was over and because I played football, I played sports, right? Like, they just allowed us to just roam the hallways, do whatever we wanted. And so I'd crash some classes and go hang out with my friends, right? Until I got fucking oh, yelled at. Yeah, uh, until I got yelled at and said, you can't do that anymore. Uh, this is before the Columbine thing happened. Uh, I thought I was like, well, fuck, man, I want to hang out with my buddy Paul, you know? Like, you know, we're here in the shitty class, and I would answer questions. I'd participate in the class. And then someone told me that I was being disruptive and a goof. And then I couldn't go do my goofball bullshit anymore. So that was a bummer. And so uh, I also did the uh, the double enrollment thing or whatever it was. Uh, whatever you uh, said it was. Double enrollment, right? Yeah. 
Dual enrollment, yes. Dual enrollment, thank you. Uh, I was taking college classes while I was doing my senior year in high school. And uh, if I stuck with that, I would have been a certified diesel mechanic. Because I was sort of into that for a while. But I, I didn't want that to be my life. Because uh, it seems like every mechanic I've ever known is just so fucking unhappy. Or like some sort of like a, a hard drug addict. Or like a huge alcoholic. And I was already having problems with both of those. So I didn't want to do myself to a life of addiction in a, a, a job I fucking hated. But yeah, so uh, we started doing that. And we told the... Uh, we told our professors, well, lunch is at this time, and they never fucking fact-checked us, right? They said, oh, okay, well, you guys can leave at about 1030. So we'd leave for 1030. We'd have like two and a half hours of just leisure time, and we'd go back to my buddy Nick's place, and we would just get torn the fuck up and come back near the end of lunchtime. I remember uh, walking to my buddies, and one of them, uh, I fucking stumbled a little bit. And he goes, Mo, you're stumbling. Let's go, oh, shit. And it was the first time I ever came fucking high to school. Uh, Paul, the asshole that he is, uh, he came up to me and goes, Mo, Mo, your breath smells like weed. Here, take some of this, right? And I'm fucking stoned as shit, and I don't know any better. So uh, he busts out some fucking gel fucking uh, uh, deodorant. And it was like, all right, man, just wipe this on your tongue. You'll be okay. It was like, all right, man, thanks, Paul. I appreciate it, dude. Oh, my God. I'm so, I'm so stoned, man. I can't believe it. And I fucking wiped it on my tongue immediately. It was the most disgusting fucking thing. And he just fucking pointed and laughed at me. So did, like, half my friends behind me. And I spent, like, good, like, four or five minutes at the water fountain washing off my tongue. It was, it, like, looking oh, yeah. back at now, it's so fucking funny. And, uh... You know, like uh, going back then, like uh, uh, when when the the gang thing started happening, we had uh, multiple fucking fights just going on be between the quote unquote different gangs, uh, you know, the Crips versus the Bloods and all this other fucking lame shit. Uh, and uh, so like there was like a, a period of like one of the six weeks because we did stuff by six week periods before we got our report cards, right? And there wasn't like a at least like four or five fights every fucking week. So our school was like kind of violent for the longest time. And uh, it, it was fucking crazy. Like having to like uh, work through all that and graduate through all that. But yeah, that's a, uh, that's, that's pretty much what school was for me. I, I did have a lot of fun. I had a, uh, there, there was a couple of times, like, uh, like I said, we we got into the administrator's fucking password for the computer lab, and this is before, like, uh, like this is at the the dawn of the fucking internet as we knew it, right? Like in '99 and all that stuff. So there wasn't like quote unquote uh, uh, efficient like cybersecurity or anything like that. It was just like, well, these fucking goobers got a hold of my password and fucked with our school website, right? Where me, Paul, and his brother. We stood up. We we stayed up one time during the weekend, got fucking wicked baked, and uh, just started posting dicks everywhere, in, in the on the school website, because they left. I think they're like a, a their their port one of their back door ports or whatever it was, like wide the fuck open, and so we was just sitting there going, well, we gotta take advantage of this. This is just too goddamn good, and so we we fucked around for a while, and then. One of us uh, uh, got a guilty conscience, and his brother uh, corrected everything, put everything back the way it was supposed to be, and left a note that said, Listen, uh, you left one of your back doors like open and stuff. There was a huge security vulnerability in your website. Could you please just next time take care of that? I fixed it for you. And so we left it at that, and then the next, uh, I think the Monday, the following Monday, we went over to school and we were just sitting there first fucking period. And uh, see, I didn't think that anyone actually saw the website because like it, like it's it's just us like up at about two or three in the fucking morning uh, seeing all this shit. And well, what I thought happened was like, oh, you must uh, you must uh, like uh, uh, fix this or something like a couple hours after we crashed out. Like, no, he fixed it. Like about eight or nine o'clock in the morning, 
So that was enough time for everyone in town <laughs> to like uh, wake up, log into their computer, and see the fucking school website in all of its glory. And uh, <laughs> so my principal comes in the first period class. I think I believe he was reading. I was in. You hear, Mister McMahon? Did you hear someone hacked our school website? And he's walking in because. He knows the troublemakers, the nerdy little troublemakers, were me, Paul, and about four other guys, right? He goes, yep, yeah, someone done and went and hacked the internet. It's okay, though. Like, he's standing, like, right beside me, like, offside, uh, like, uh, like going toward the, the other wall. Because I was near the door. He was going, uh, he was going to, like, I think the left of me. And he was saying, yeah. We uh, went and talked to the FBI. They're going to be sending some agents down to go check this out. This is We're going to find out who did this, and they're probably all going to go to jail. And then they, they, they talked for a minute, and then uh, and that was it. Because, like, you know, this, this is like a, a Mr. McMahon. He, this is Bob McMahon was uh, my fucking principal. You know, this dude was a boomer before boomers were boomers, right? Fucking didn't know a goddamn thing what he was talking about. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, hack the internet. What the fuck does that even mean? And, like, you know, you think to yourself, the FBI doesn't give a rat's ass about fucking so like, a bunch of fucking hick kids fucking hacking your stupid little shitty fucking website. Like, no, no, they don't. You, Bob, you're, you're full of fucking shit. Nothing fucking happened. It's not going to happen. So, so that, that, that's, that's what I did. And we, this is like back when, you know, you were learning the difference between phone freaking and hacking and cracking and learning the difference and all that stuff because that was the new hotness because the internet was you know like i said on the internet blah 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 and uh like so we, we I, I grew up in in fucking high school just learning how to be a fucking hacker and then i became extremely poor and couldn't afford the internet or computer so that that was uh i guess for the better you know if you really think about it so sort of like the better thing to happen is like it never, like, you know, came to be a thing. Because I'd probably be in jail still to this day. Because I had ambition. <laughs> well, anyway, that's yeah. that, that's pretty much all the stories about, like, uh, fucking high school and shit. There's, I used to get in a lot of fights and all that stuff. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and end with this. Because I got to have a fight story. So this dude, I, I, I felt like, I, I look at it like as such a stupid fucking thing. And, like, because I, I would never, like, this would be one of those things where if I can go back in time, I'd smack my younger self upside the head and say, don't be fucking stupid. And don't do this. So, I, I fucking, I got mad at this fucking kid who borrowed my fucking Friday soundtrack. And he fucking, quote unquote, lost it. Is that the black song? No, you, 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 you bastard. No, fucking Friday. Like the, the, the movie, the funny movie with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker and all that. Okay. A and fucking Grandpa from fucking Boondocks. Anyway, anyway, anyway. If that's what you're claiming. Yes, bitch. Anyway, so like back in those days, we didn't really have piracy. So you had to buy an album and you had to go your shitty fucking extremely like it was like almost 25, 30 bucks for a fucking no, tape. No, you had to have pirate. There had to be some kid burning CDs on his like shitty well, little desktop. That that happened later on, like about like because like this is like this is the Friday. This is a uh, the Friday soundtrack. Friday came out. I think it was like ninety three, ninety four, something like that. So we we didn't have uh, CD burning capabilities back then. Now we we all did like the the tape over the hole on the cassette tape and recorded songs like uh, uh off the radio and if you were mm -hmm. rich you had like the dual cassette thing and that's when you can start recording and making mixtapes and stuff see mixtapes were like at their height at at this time but we didn't really have like we didn't really have money to to blow on fucking full albums and shit especially like the 20 30 bucks that they wanted for that. So yada yada anyway. Are you dropping fire mixtapes now? Oh dude, I had fucking fire fucking mixtapes and CDs and shit. Mm -hmm. It's like the one thing about the passage of time that I the the the, the uh inevitability of obsolescence when it comes to uh 
uh, you know, like recording material and stuff. Because we we lost a little bit of magic from the, those times. Like now, you can just go to YouTube. Like there, there's there's no uh, you, you you just can't replicate it anymore with like a YouTube playlist or like a Spotify playlist. It just doesn't exist anymore. Like you know, you don't. It's it's like you you had to put in real work to make these quote unquote fire mixtapes, as you say. And all that <laughs> stuff, because, like, you know, like, you, you went in and you, and like... you have limited space on a cassette. Oh, yeah. Whereas you... with a Spotify playlist, you could just have, like, a thousand songs, and at that point, like, is it really a mixtape? That's, like... Yeah, it's, like... This you could just all... put every song you've ever listened to. Yeah, and, like, the, 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 the personality fucking, like, it goes out the window, right? And you had to... Yeah, because you, you had to go, like, oh, man, I gotta put my best music on it. What are my best songs, like, that I can fit on this cassette tape? And you'd have to guess... As to how much uh, fucking time you had based on how much tape was on the spindle on one side or the other. So, you know, uh, yeah. So, like, it, you'd have a lot of fuck. I, I had a bunch of mixtapes where this awesome song I fucking loved cut out at the fucking near the end of it. Like, <laughs> Rooster, like, the by the Alice in Chains song Rooster was always this constant victim of, like, by, by quote-unquote fire mixtapes, right? I would try to record that fucking song. And right as it's getting to, like, the height of it, it fucking, like, you'd hear that fucking click. Or if you were speedy enough, you just slap, switch that bitch over, and you'd fucking record the end of it. That way, you know, at least you're hearing, you know, what you think is, uh, by those standards, then a full fucking set list, right? Your whole songs, right? But, uh, what was the point I was making? I started talking about fucking making uh, mixtapes and stuff. Fuck. Oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, like, yeah, so, like, 25 fucking something bucks, you know, for, like, an album. And, like, people would, quote, unquote, uh, I, I say that too much, man. I need to stop doing that. People would totally lose them. I'm totally serious. Like, please believe me. And then uh, uh, you'd, fi you'd go to their house and you'd see your fucking tape right there. And you know it was your tape because you put the fucking markings on the inside. That way, if any of your asshole friends stole your shit, you could call them on fucking that. It happened with this one Fear Factory album and, and this uh, and uh, Alice in Chains' Dirt. Uh, like, those two albums would uh, totally be lost. I'm super serious, man. And we would all fucking just have the same fucking album. We'd just steal it from one another. So anyway, so I, I got mad after he wouldn't give it back. And I went, and, I went to, the, since I was playing football, I fucking got the, 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 the tape. That, you know, the stuff that you put over your gloves and on your knuckles and shit. And so I, I taped up my shit and I went over there and said, dude, you got my freaking mixtape? You got my freaking album? He goes, no, man, I don't have it. And so I fucking just pop, 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 fucking punch him in the head a bunch of times. And the fucking, uh, everyone went fucking ape shit. And, uh, uh, the, the vice principal, like, grabbed me by my collar and fucking, like, hauled my ass to the fucking principal's office. Uh, I got the cop freaking called on me. They were fucking yelling at me and shit. My mom came in and started fucking yelling at me. My dad yelled at me over the phone. It was just a bad day. I got sent to uh, LTS, long-term suspension, for, like, a few months. And uh, I almost did, like, they, they were talking about expelling me throughout the entire thing and uh, i didn't think that they were actually going to expel me but i think that was just a threat but knowing mcmahon uh he probably would have once upon a time so yeah that that was that's that's how i that's that's how i rolled back then and you know it, it caught i was in driver's ed and it was the day that i got in that stupid fight was the day i was supposed to take my driver's test that's what i got my learner's permit and i didn't get my learner's per or my license till I was like 32, 33, because by then I just fucking took the bus and everything else. And I never like, I, you know, dreams of cars were like dreams for rich people. And so I never thought to myself, I'd ever have a vehicle. Right. And so I just took PT or just walked everywhere. Anyway, that's 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 high school for me. Any of you guys have anything else you want to add before we end this? I don't think that's about it for me. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Man, you're done over yeah. there. 
You got anything else you want to add? Th- I leave? thought of one more story, but if we're already about to end, then we can... Oh, we'll just, just make it quick, buddy. Okay, well, I had this one day where I had horrible grades in middle school and early high school. So, and I went to this little tiny school that, like, everybody actually knew each other and had some had some sort of care for individuals because there was only, like, 200 of us instead of 1,200 of us. So my my principal would constantly call me in and ask me about my grades. I'd just be like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And sometimes he'd call my mom in. And one day he had called my mom in for a conference in the morning, and I had come to school on the bus rather than going with her. And I had gotten there, and I saw her car there, so I imagined the conference was already taking place. And when I got off the bus, I proceeded to get assaulted with every person I interacted with being like, hey, they're looking for you in the office. <laughs> like, I think, like, 25 separate people said, hey, they're looking for you. And I'm Damn. like, wow, thank you for telling me. I had no idea. Sounds like office space with the TPS reports. <laughs> yeah, didn't you get yeah, that memo? It's, like, it's such a small school that they just, like, walk out to the middle of the hall and they're like, hey, has anybody seen Riley Brooks? We're looking for him. And I guess everybody hears it. And then they're like, hey, uh, they're looking for you in there. <laughs> like, everybody I know. My best friend at the time walks me to my walks into the office and like says his goodbyes as if I'm about to walk into my death. <laughs> Damn, what'd you do? D- got horrible grades and got my mom called in. Damn, to talk about those grades. Damn, and that was it. They just fucking bitched you for having bad grades then. Yeah, they bitched at me for having bad grades, and then I got home and my mom bitched at me for having bad grades, and then it was a good time. Everybody loves it. But I just found it hilarious that, like, everybody and their mothers knew that the office was looking for me and found the need to tell me, even though you'd have to imagine they'd assume I already know. Right, right. Just, like, every staff member, every student, every person that I walked by, they were looking for you in the office. Thanks. Jesus. Thanks. All right, man. Uh, Riley, where can they find you at, buddy? They can find me on Twitter at Riley Tweets. They can find me on twitch.tv slash Riley Streams, where I'm hopefully keeping up my streak of streaming every day, besides when I'm going to be in Tampa for a couple of days. That doesn't count. That's beyond my power. <laughs> and you can go listen to my podcast, Pixels, Polygons, and Fun, wherever podcasts are found. That's a show about video games. Pokemon Variety Hour, where on Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, a show about Pokemon. And then there's the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, which is my like central hub where you can find shows such as Largest Issue in the Galaxy and me and Moe's The Dickheads Podcast. Oh, yeah, and I've been having a ton of fun actually doing that show with you. I didn't think I was going to be, ever take on another sh- uh, show, at least uh, as far as like a uh, co-host duties. I always thought I was going to do just the guest thing. But, yeah, man, I- I've enjoyed myself doing that show. Y'all should go definitely check it out. Uh, Robin- yeah, it's been really good. All right, uh, Robin. Where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me at on Twitter at Inside Alloy, and then you can find me on Twitch, where I stream sometimes. Uh, twitchtv Nice, nice, nice. And you can find me at Happy Good Boy 420 on Twitter, Mo Diggity 42 on Instagram and YouTube. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreoncom forward slash Productions. And uh, no, uh, yeah, Moca, yeah, is the Mocast me? You know, it's it's fucking something. It's going to be in the it's, links. Will be in the description. It exists. Yeah, it it, it You're exists. Listening to it right now, in fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm making zero dollars off my Patreon, but eventually it'll all start rolling in. We'll have a million dollar podcast. Believe me yep, when I say that. Subscribe to Patreon.com/slash Moside Productions. Oh, okay, I guess that's the right one. I guess I'm thinking about the I... other. I'm thinking about something else completely. Shit, I'm fucking hot as shit I in here. I've been sweating. I instinctively said Ben Saint because that's usually how I follow Patreon.com. I figured someone was <laughs> going to chime in with Patreon.com forward slash Hysterios because I like yeah, we've been Asterios conditioned. Yeah, and Ben Saint are the two people who have turned Patreon into a huge meme. And you know that Asterios knows how to freaking like it's such it's it's like subtle conditioning because he works in advertisement, so he knows how people fucking work. And I, I applaud the old bean. Uh, for doing that because I I hawked his pocket uh, his stuff, uh, just because of that. Anyway, 
Thanks for coming out, everyone. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, ta ta. Oh, it's so Bye. hot. It's so hot.